It's Kathleen Happy Gal Driscoll here and I am very excited because I am going to show you my new art room. Um, some of my friends and family know that I've been struggling for quite a while to figure out how to create an art room or an art space for myself in our home here in Florida. Uh, we downsized when we moved from New Jersey and um, we thought about adding on to the house and that ran about $60,000, which we do not have. So we were trying to think of different ways. Um, we wanted to maybe convert my garage, but that's not allowed because we live in an HOA area. So, okay, what else are we going to do? Um, we, I would been using the kitchen in my dining room. Um, and therefore, because I'm a kind of a sloppy artist, um, all my stuff would be left out all over the place. And anytime company came, it was a mad dash to hurry up and clean and throw it in a pile and then throw it in a tub and get a tablecloth over it. And that wasn't working out well for me at all either. So, uh, we did a huge purge in the house and I came up with the solution I'm about to show you. Um, and I'm pretty happy about it. So I'm going to give you a quick tour of my new art space. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, what we've done is we had a guest room and I wanted to keep it a guest room. And uh, now it is the art room slash guest room because we figured out how many days per year guests actually come and visit. And we figured out it's about five or six weeks a year. So the rest of the time this space wasn't being utilized properly. So I created a five minute quickie easy solution to um, switching it over from, from an art room to a guest room. Um, we've already had that happen. We've already had a guest here with family. And uh, it, five minutes later it was a guest room and five minutes after the guest left it was back to my art room. So I'm um, pretty happy uh, about our solution. And so I know other artists out there struggle with this so I'm going to show you our solution. And um, I hope you may be able to incorporate some of it yourself if you can. All right, here we go. So uh, this is my art table. Um, this I, We got it from Ikea. And what I love about this is that it the, the sides of it um, go down. So it's easy. It, it goes from a 30 by 40 inch table, which is plenty room for me. Even my larger canvases fit on this. Um, so it, it goes from a 20 by 30 down to this little narrow strip right here. So, um, and just looking at it, you, even just half of it, it's, it's pretty incredible. Even if you half of it. Look how, look at this, look how narrow this is. That is freaking unbelievable. This is a table we picked up from Ikea for about $200. Um, I'll try to figure out what the name of it is in the link below. But the other cool thing about this is that it has drawers. And these drawers um, hold all my alcohol inks. I have alcohol inks in smaller trays I found um, in Staples a while back. So you can see that these come in and out of here pretty easily. And there are six drawers like this, three on one side and three on the other. It's unbelievable the amount of storage. So I am pleasantly surprised over how, how much I'm able to put in here and then just whip these out, whip them back pretty easily. So yay. All right, so now I'm gonna pick up the camera and I'm gonna show you the rest um, of this art room. So this is the overview of the room. We have two bookcases on either end, separated by a curtain. And this is the art table in its entirety. Just wanted you to get a good look at it. Okay, so this is our guest bedroom. And it still is our guest bedroom, except now it is also my art room. So one of the biggest things that we did was, this just had a regular um, bed in it. And what we did was we took these bookshelves, which we already owned, and we had picked them up used somewhere for about 150 bucks. Um, and they store a lot of things in them. And we took them out of one room and we put them in this room. And this stores all of um, 
a lot of my art supplies. Uh, my paper down in there. I got some resin in there. And I got my Disney collection here. And then we put it on the other, we put the other one on the other side. And you can also see I got a lot of uh, crafts and uh, paint brushes and pencils. And that's all filled with markers. Um, my levels. And then this is just chock full of items as well. Uh, a lot more paint and pencils. Um, and what we did was we put the mattress behind this uh, curtain here. And so now if we take the curtain down, you can see it is just, I have a collapsible bed frame, which I bought at Walmart with a mattress. And we already had a second mattress. And so the mattress is just tucked in between the two bookcases. It's just, it happened to measure out perfectly. And then for extra added strength, I bought these straps on Amazon um, for like 30 or 40 bucks. Um, and they go through the frame and everything tucks back in here. And when we pull this out to make it a bed, uh, my art table here goes in the same exact space. So um, I'm utilizing the same space for both a queen size mattress and also my um, and also my art table. So I'm using the space and it is also now my backdrop for making videos. Yay! Okay, and then here's my art table and I was showing you before um, some of the art supplies that I'm, that I'm keeping in here. I haven't uh, quite made myself at home 100% yet, but I'm getting there. And the fact that these things collapse, it is a heavy duty table. Um, it's not lightweight, it is heavy duty. Um, my son actually bought uh, the same one we found out uh, about seven years ago, and it is still holding up well, he said. So um, now over here, this is my drawing station. When I'm working on Yupo, um, I created my own little drawing station here. So here is some of my art that I'm currently working on. And so uh, we made these out of um, our, our kids' little blocks. <laughs> you can see the size there. These are just little kids' blocks. And... Um, some poster board, um, heavy duty with the, the um, vinyl in between or whatever. So that's just poster board and tape. And so that's my drawing station. Um, this is extra paper. This is paper that I want to grab on a moment's notice. So I do have more paper over here, but this is the paper that I grab on a regular basis. And obviously that's my trash can because I use a lot of trash cans. Um, so let's see what else can I show you. Oh, this entire desk over here is all art supplies. So the top drawer is kind of a messy one. This is the this is the catch-all drawer with mostly all my hooks and such in there. And then the so subsequent drawers have artwork, um, paper, posters, pencils. Um, there there are some uh, finished artworks in here. Um, more pencils, and a lot of pencils, um, and just supplies, just general supplies are in here. So up here I have, up here I have my mats. Um, they're laying flat up there, and these I have uh, empty canvases, um, and or empty frames that I have not framed anything yet. So, and I just kind of throw a pillow up in front to kind of dodge it. Um, here's my more my Mickey collection. Up here, my Mickey Mouse collection, because I like Mickey Mouse. That's how my husband got me to move to Florida. He promised me some Disney. And um, this is uh, what I look at so far um, in the room. Can't show you this. Let's see, open the door. So these are my Epcot posters, which I absolutely adore. And... Um, this is uh, the view of Crystal Springs in New Jersey. It's uh, near the area I used to live in. And this is a painting my father did. My father was not an artist, but he did take one uh, art class. And this is the painting he came up with. So, no, that's not a slice of cheesecake. We all call it the cheesecake picture. It's actually supposed to be Swiss cheese. He never got around to painting the holes in it. But uh, bravo, Dad, for taking an art class. Yay. 
Now over here, um, this is for guests. So this is um, where I have all their towels and such um, and all the linens. And when the linens come out and go on the bed, this drawer becomes empty and then our guests can put their items in there. And this is my fan that I need because I'm an alcohol ink artist. This fan goes in the window and when I'm working heavy duty, that fan goes on. So nicely done. And this is my closet, which is, this is clean. This is clean for me. I have uh, frames in here. I have, um, you, you name it, it's in here. Um, I have art supplies. I have packing materials to send my art supplies. I have things that have yet to be framed. Um, but I actually have some empty shelves here, uh, stuff now. And I might somewhere down in that corner, I have a portfolio. I have a lighting kit. I have a little bit of everything in here. My whiteboard. Um, so, uh, that's, that's what's going on right now. And what else? Can I show? Oh, the light. I wanted to show you the light. Ah, oh, it's really bright. Um, so this light, uh, is brand new. We bought it. The problem with this room and my resistance to it for a long time was that it was way too dark to be an art room. So we investigated and you need at least 5,000 K temperature to make it feel like daylight. So we bought this light and it is now super bright in the room and we are really happy um, with the way this has turned out. So now this is not only uh, my guest room, but it's now my art room. Um, it's much more functional in the house. We're very happy with how quickly it transitions from one thing to another. Um, and so really that that's about it. That's the tour of my new art space. So uh, I will have to cover the floor uh, with a canvas um, when I'm working or some plastic because I don't want to ruin the floor. Um, but other than that, uh, we are pretty much done with this room. I'm, I'm very happy that all my art supplies and everything are now one spot, as am I. So um, that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed the tour and uh, catch you next time. Hopefully you can use some of the ideas that we put forth in here. All right, take care. Bye-bye.